Alright, hey guys. Um, recently I've been inspired to do a video on near death experiences. The person who inspired me to do this is Dan is not on fire. I will link um, him to you, or I will link his channel um, in the doobly doo down below. Uh, so yeah, you should totally check him out. He's amazing and he does amazing videos and he's hilarious. So yeah, he's the one who inspired me to do this. So I made a comment on YouTube recently um, on one of his videos, which was labeled uh, near the near death experiences. And in that comment, I talked about two of my near death experiences. And you know, I just decided I want to talk about them more in depth to a camera or to you guys. That's what I like to think that I'm doing. So yeah, well, the first part, well, the second part, because the first part requires a lot of explaining. The first part was in probably fifth or sixth grade, my friend lives on a farm, okay, and I live like in a countryside, so it's easy to get to her house, and we show cattle together. Well, we decided one day that we're not going to work with our show cattle. Instead, we're going to try to ride them like horses. You already know this story is going, don't you? Yeah. It's pretty easy to tell where the story goes from here. Anyway, my friend, what does she do? She gets on her heifer and voila! Everything's fine. And then I get on mine and she has the lead rope in her hand and she's leading my heifer around. And we were in um, one of the barns, like it was, it's called the Little Place, it's actually like gated in, like we were actually in the barn, so there were walls around us. <laughs> well, my heifer decided she was going to be reasonable and didn't want anybody on her back. I mean, I would do the same exact thing. Anyway, she literally bucked me against the wall, drug my whole body down the wall, and I ended up with scrapes down my back. Also, that was the same heifer that drug me down a gravel pathway after getting scared by a car. Yeah, she tried to skip over my head. Lesson learned. Hold, let go. Hold on tight, but let go when it's necessary. Little word of advice right there. Tell you kettle chores. Anyway, the second near death experience was the fact that my friend and I, same friend who shows kettle with me, uh, we also show llamas. And we were walking through the pasture for the llamas. Now they, now the people who own that farm, they had a blind llama. He's dead now, but they had a blind llama and his name was Jorge. And my friend walks past Jorge and he's just kind of walking in circles because he doesn't, you know. So he's just walking in circles and my friend walks past him completely fine. I go to follow my friend. And what does this llama do? This llama decides, hmm, she's a good target. I'm just going to, you know, hone in my sonar or something, and he charges at me, like, headbutts me in the back, throws me to the ground, and then just walks away like nothing ever happened. That was one of the scariest days of my life. And it hurt. So yeah, I've had a lot of near-death experiences. I also choked on, um, like, uh, the toffee drop things. I choked on one of those and I was sitting there for at least a minute choking on it, which was really scary because I thought I was gonna die. Like, I seriously thought, like, oh my god, I'm gonna die. And when I do the autopsy, they're gonna find that I died from choking on a toffee. How, ugh. It makes me sad sometimes. And I fall on stairs a lot. I do that at a lot of meets for mock trial and for forensics, which I don't do forensics anymore, but I chipped down the stairs like three times on one day. <sighs> Fantastic. So, well, that is all I've got. So yeah, check out Dana's Not On Fire. Uh, comment, rate, subscribe to this if you like it. If you want to see more videos of me, I will gladly do them. I'm just going to keep posting so you guys can see my videos every day, no matter if you say or not. So, it's up to you whether you want to subscribe or not. But I will, I will, I will get you, I will find you if you don't subscribe. Yeah, I'm watching you. So yeah, bye.